Hey guys, it's Mike here. Just want to show you a quick little setting which is uh, really helpful when a huge storm coming across and there's potentially going to be blackouts. Now I learned very early on in my days with this here that um, even though you've got batteries, you know, you don't always have power. So as a Redback customer, it's pretty simple. Just go into your control settings here. And this does take a bit of a little time. Come into your inverter and where it says auto, you just want to go down and say charge battery. Now you actually have the ability to change this. So it's 2,500 watts. We'll change this to 3,000 as an example. We go save. So this does take a little bit of time um, to update stuff on your dashboard. So it's saved, we'll pop over here. And as we'll see at the moment, it's just discharging from batteries, consuming 3.3, and the solar panels are off at this place here. And this will come up. So just some things to consider. Now, if you keep your batteries charged, great. Just continue using everything as normal until you have a blackout. Now the thing is to remember when you do have a blackout, you do have limited power and we just don't know how long the energy is going to be up for if it does happen. Now some things just to think about if there is a blackout, try cooking with, with gas. So if you've got a barbecue, maybe use your barbecue. Don't use as many heavy appliances and things like that. Like so if you've got the air conditioner for example, uh, I know you wouldn't run it for, for cooling but maybe don't use it for heating and things like that. Try and really reduce and be aware of how much energy you are using to get your batteries to last as long as possible. When the sun comes out, your system will charge straight away again from the sun. Um, all, all these systems have a black start ability, so if your batteries do go flat and the grid still failed, when the sun comes out, your batteries will just charge straight away. But just really be conscious of your energy consumption. Um, and here we go, this system's just cranked up now. So it's actually, the system's coming in, it's buying 3.9, so it's gonna pull the whole load now. It it'll, won't discharge anything from the batteries. It's sending to the load and also charging the batteries at 2.6 and that'll ramp itself up to three because I set it to three there. So yeah guys, I hope this has been helpful. Uh, if you have any problems, just give us a call or shoot us a message about how to set this up um, so you can be prepared if it does happen. And it's really useful just if there's a storm coming and you think there's a potential blackout, just go on, change it so your batteries are charged So and just remember to go back and um, change it because if you don't, it'll always keep your batteries charged until the, you know until you go and change it again. So, uh, appreciate watching, guys. Thank you, and have a great day.